Well, you jobbers and countermen are going to be excited as I am about the new UKK-01. In California, they consider candy coats a mid-coat because they're applied over the base under the clear. Consequently, it has to meet a new VOC. We've developed that system and it's unbelievable. There's no sensitivity in between coats. You can take your time, go to lunch if you need to. You don't have to worry about it like we did. I've never ever wanted to candy a frame because the intricacies in an old Ford frame, trying to get around all those things and do it right in a candy paint job. When this material hit the streets, I candied my first old Ford frame, candy pagan gold under my candy red car. And is that a hit when people look under the car and see that beautiful candy pagan gold? It's all done by mixing the candy concentrates according to our formulas online and in our tech manuals. You add it to the candy, you mix it four to one to one or four to one to two, depending on wanting a lighter solids. Many painters like to begin with the four to one to two parts of reducer because it gives them a thinner coating to start the candy paint job. And then as they finish the job, they go four to one to one with reducer and catalyst. Using the only the KU-152 catalyst, the only one you want to use in this system, but is it great? And does it make a candy painter out of people that had trouble before? Absolutely. Because being a lower solid, it's easier to handle and it makes candy painting easier than it's ever been. And it meets the most stringent VOC in Southern California using our specialized reducer. In other parts of the country, all of our other reducers work equally well. But you talk about a deep, rich looking candy job, there's nothing that beats a true candy. And using this new material, with the extended flow times and the beautiful gloss, of course, our new clear, and we're going to talk about that later, is the piece de resistance for any custom paint job. But we will get to that. So remember, the UKK01 is a new system. We are going to go to factory pack eventually. We're working on that so that you don't have to mix it. It'll come off the shelf, and it's just up to you to catalyze and reduce. So that's coming, but it's great stuff and the painters are not going to have to worry about taking extra time the painting. Just allow flash time between coats. Uh, we prefer 10 minutes, but depending on your dry time and your choice of reducer, that all enters into it, but easier than ever before. We talked about the UKK01. Now let's mix some up and show you how it's done and how easy it is. Our ratio is 411, and you can go extra reducer to make it a little less solids on your beginning coats to make the painting a little bit easier. So let's turn that cup around so I can see it and go ahead and mix some up right now. Now that we've got that part, let's get down to the nitty gritty and mix some of this material. So we open the can, we're gonna use the UKK01. We're gonna go to the lowest ratio here on the 411. So we're just going to pour that till it hits that level. And what I like to do next, there's really no set timing on when to put the catalyst in, but I like to get that over with right away so it's not forgotten. Believe me, this stuff will not dry without the KU-152 and use no other. KU-152 is exclusive to this product along with a, a bunch of our other products. Now that we've got that done, we're going to add reducer and use the reducer best suited for your shop temperatures. And I'm just going to the 411, which is the higher solid version of mixing this material. Now we're going to add the UKK, which is the candy red. The apple red is one of my favorites, absolutely beautiful. Let's put a little in and just look at it with just a little in. We'll stir this in. Now spend a couple of minutes stirring because it takes a while for the colorant to enter the resin. Now that we've done that, pull the stick up and look at it, you can see how weak that is. You want to do your mixing after it's catalyzed and after it's reduced, so we call it a sprayable quart. And what we generally recommend is two to four ounces, and I like to stay on the high side of that because we want the strength. We have excess amounts of UV absorber in this material to help filter the rays of the sun. Very few other companies put that much UV in. We're going to keep adding it until I like what I see. I want to have some nice strength. And you need a steel stir stick. Don't try to do this with a wooden stir stick. Go out and get yourself some of the stirrers that they use in the kitchens for baking and making things. And get yourself a good one with a wooden handle and respect it. Keep it clean. Now that's getting pretty nice. 
I might add just a touch more, but it's doggone good. The most important thing that you got to remember is to put enough coats on. So many guys will stop painting and say, well, yeah, I quit at three coats. And I say, why did you quit at three coats? I like the color. Well, then it fades out, and I say to them, do you like the color now? The point is, put enough coats on, and we do recommend at least five to six coats. And now you could over-reduce this for your beginning coats with another part reducer. In other words, four parts of the resin, one part of the catalyst, two parts of reducer, and then add your, cat, your, your colorant. So you're going to have a, a richer colorant, and it's going to be a little bit thinner, but make sure you put enough on to get the life. The sun's rays come down, they go through our clear, which is 4.4% UV absorber. It goes into the candy, which also has a high, power, way over the normal of UV absorber, and then the, it's reflected back out based on the color of the base. So the lighter the base, the more important it is to get enough candy on. But as you can see how easy this is, we are working on factory packaged candies, and you'll be seeing those in the future. But you can see how simple it is and how much fun it is to paint with this new material. It's going to make candy painting easier than it ever has been. So good luck with it. Your painters are going to love it.